Well, bless the Lord, everybody. Everybody, bless the Lord. How are you doing this morning? Praise God. Good to see you all in the house. For those who are joining us online, thank you, God, for you taking the time to do so. Hallelujah. I want to encourage the saints in the Lord today in prayer and faith and the anointing of Christ destroys every yoke and lifts every burden. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. We're going to acknowledge you having the Father's lift our hands to the Lord. Father, we just thank you for another day, for another occasion, another opportunity for us to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. We know every day you give us is a gift, hallelujah, and an opportunity to see your glory and your power operating in our lives. We know of ourselves we can do nothing, nothing of value of worth, but with you all things are possible that are fruitful that are productive that are truly worthwhile and truly meaningful and you're the one that makes life so god to us and so we embrace your anointing and presence in our life we pray that even now as we hear your word oh god that our hearts will, will just gravitate more and more into the depths of your word oh god the word will be engrafted in us in our in our innermost being and that indeed we'll bear fruit and much fruit and fruit that will mean that will not be um, something that passed through our minds and our thoughts but that was something that will be rooted in us hallelujah and truly bear fruit in our lives and fruit that will remain we thank you for what you have done for what you're doing and for what you're about to do we lay and cast every care at your feet and trust your leadership now to lead us going forward that will bring about greater revelation of it grace and favor you have released in our life through jesus christ we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name amen and amen praise god you're here to praise the lord today oh bless the lord good to be here with you another time and to share the faith with you hallelujah we want to sing some praise chorus and yeah get in the mood for worshiping the lord as we often say it so that I'm not a moody person. I just worship the Lord because I know He deserves the worship. Amen. Praise God. But we know sometimes people don't feel that we and yeah, we got to stir up the faith in each other and encourage those who don't feel so inclined to get on page with us and see what the Lord will do. Because every time you praise God, something supernatural takes place. Whether you see it or not, God is always doing something awesome for you in your praise Him. Why? Because you're made to praise him. Huh? He said, let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got any praise here? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, let's sing this one. Every praise is to our God. Hallelujah. We start with that one. Hallelujah. Just warm up their voices and their hearts. You know, God, they look kind of. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> yeah, the word of God said it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name. Hallelujah. So we're going to give him all the praise. Come on, somebody. Baby, praise to our God. Every word of worship, the God of God. Every praise, every praise. To our God, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, our God call. Every praise, every praise is to our God. I want to sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah. We want to call every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, God, my way. God, my Savior. Come on. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Every word of worship, we want to call every praise. 
sing hallelujah to our God. Hey, glory, hallelujah. It won't call every praise. Every praise, yeah, is to our God. Come on, God, my Savior. God, my Savior. why we praise him hallelujah because he's worthy of the praise and the glory what you say hallelujah come on let's give him some more praise in the house we are marching in the light of god we are marching in the come on give me up to me we are marching in the light of god oh. yeah. we are marching marching we are marching oh in the light of God, hey, we are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, we are marching, hey, we are living in the light of God, hey, what are you saying? We are living in the light of God, hey, 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 we are living, living, we are living, oh,
for joy and peace divine. Oh yes, when I was sad and lonely, I didn't know what to do. I thank Him for saving my soul. Come on, somebody, we're preaching at the gospel to be over. Of the gospel soon be over all over this world. Hey, the preaching of the gospel soon be over. I know, yes, the preaching of the gospel soon be over all over this world. All over this world. All over this world.
see your good works and glorify your father in heaven don't be ashamed to glorify him he deserves the praise for if it had not been for him where would we be come on now so he's calling us to that life in him and we are glad to be here to celebrate that life and to declare his praise and here's some testimony in the house today praise god hallelujah Let's praise the lord yeah I'm, I'm thankful um that i'm here today to give God thanks, I'm still in God's house. Uh, God has been good to me. Yes. And even as I reflected on what happened over the, over the weekend, I am more thankful because I remember the Lord who said, Rejoice when you are going through things, when you are persecuted, when you are going through things for righteousness sake. Rejoice. Rejoice when the enemy comes against you and God lifts you up. Because once he's fighting against you, you know that you're on the right path. Because one thing I've learned, the devil doesn't fight against you unless you are on God's side. He doesn't attack you, he doesn't try to kill you, he doesn't try to take you out or disrupt things unless you are on the, the path of righteousness. So I'm giving God thanks for that. And I, I remember when Apostle was teaching Friday morning, it, it kept replaying in my mind over and over. He says, don't be frustrated if things don't go your way. Mm -hmm. And then he said something else um, about Job. He said, Job said, the very thing that I feared came up on me yeah. when he was praying. And the Lord kept replaying those things over my mind because I'm saying, one of the things that I've even, and we're talking about it Thursday, mm -hmm. that I've been driving so long and I've never had an accident or anything like that. I've never seen one and I've never had one. And we're here just talking about that and some of the things that we have gone through. And I was looking at that and I said, I don't want that to happen to me, you know. I don't want to go through that, especially with my son in the car. But thank God I listened to him and he took me through, he took us through everything. And I'm giving God thanks for his covering and for his protection and for the covering that I am under. Because um, Apostle prayed um, and we, we, he led us through that prior Friday night where we were um, declaring favor and also cutting back some things of the enemy, cutting some things that he's planning and what he's planning to do. And I know he, Apostle was following the leading of the Holy Spirit because I know and I'm, I'm glad that the devil doesn't like me. I, my words don't like him. You understand? <laughs> I know he hates me and that is a, that is a compliment for me. Mm. That is a compliment. So I'm giving God thanks and it is, it is, it is important that we stay remain steadfast and stay where god wants us to be because it's not just about being anywhere but it's where he wants you to be so that you can be under the covering that he wants you to be under so i'm giving god thanks for this covering i'm giving god thanks for my son i mean for the first time being away from his mother so long he didn't cry he didn't say i want mommy he wasn't fussy and the lord taught me something about patience over the weekend while I was foreseen and so the little boy was there having fun all by himself, playing in the house, playing games by himself, watching his phone, watching things on the phone, playing, making friends wherever he was, laughing and talking and just enjoying himself. And I'm like, this kid is different <laughs> yeah. because I'm, I'm looking at it. 
When I would call him on the phone, his mother would be saying, he's not behaving himself. He's fussing, he's crying, he's saying, I'm hungry I'm and all over the place. But when he's with me, he's like, he's just sitting down. If I don't ask him if he wants something, he doesn't say anything. Are you hungry? Yes, dad. You want? Yes, dad. That's it. No trouble. And I'm like, this, this is grace and this, there's something different about him. And I give God thanks for that because I, I don't know many children who would be away from their mother for the first time and not cry for their mother, not once throughout the days and the nights, not once. So I'm giving God thanks for that and all that he has been done and what he is about to do and what he's doing now. Praise God. Come on, give God the praise. That's called favor. Hallelujah. And the favor of the Lord is upon you. Things shift in a different direction and where it's regularly ordinary, ordinarily would go. Amen? Praise God. So we got to understand that as we embrace the grace of God, favor will overtake you on the right and on the left. And I believe me, even things that should be stressful and overwhelming, God knows His grace comes in to ease that burden off you, to make it more tolerable and more bearable for you. Because he says there's no temptation taking him in which God will make a way of escape. He makes a way that we're able to bear it. Huh? This is first Corinthians 10, verse 13. Yeah. There's no temptation taking with that which is common to man, but God who is faithful will not allow you to endure more than you can bear, will be with every temptation, make a way of escape so that you are able to bear it. And we hear his testimony over the weekend how the enemy tried to take him out in that accident and his child you know, yeah the tire just just came off under the vehicle and caused the vehicle to jump up at the bank in, on the side of the road and long hill to go down the cliff and it was some unseen force that pushed the car back on the road with he and his child that night that was in the night eh? praise god yeah so and, and the, the vehicle brake failed and the vehicle just skated along the road and go to the other side of the road and stop my god i'll tell you that that is just grace and favor there and, and despite all that the child was still calm and <laughs> oh my god hallelujah so god god is just good that's just favor i don't care what anybody is want to call it i know that's the favor and grace of god i was working on your life to see because the enemy meant to destroy both of you in that accident uh, the, even the person that gave the vehicle out for rental didn't know it had an effect, right? But it had an effect because that didn't just happen like that. It had an effect. Um, but um, thank God that the worst did not happen and the devil lose again and we're still giving God the glory and we're still here. Praise God. And God is good. And all the time, he's good. If the worst didn't happen, he would still be good. But we still declare that he's good enough that he didn't allow that to happen praise god to us hallelujah and we are thankful for that and we give god praise for that in more testimony i was one dear oh god is doing it i mean no say god do something in hallelujah every day god doing something in here hallelujah that's every day every day <laughs> go ahead i want to give god thanks for life yes sir all the time Yes, sir. You know, church, I come from a very rich family. And when I was in my predicament, I went to them for help. And they didn't help me. And I said to them, you can't take it to your grave with you. And they're upset with me. But I don't matter because it's the truth. I just want to give God thanks for what he's doing in my life, you know? Yes, sir. Amen. He's still here for you. Praise God. And despite when others refuse to help, God knows how to help. Because David said, even my mother and my father forsake me the lord will pick me up you know you think that mother and father would never forsake a child but it does happen come on now. and and the lord says he's dear he's what he's dear to help that child how you know you know god said he's the defender of the motherless and the fatherless the orphans and the widows those who be cast off or left and a point where they feel like they are alone, struggling with issues. God will intervene. If they call and trust in his name, he will intervene and save them and bring about a change that they can testify. Look what the Lord has, has done. And that's what it's about. We know him 
And we know we're not talking some fairy tale God. But we know that for true, he has done some real things in our life that warrant praise and worship. Yeah? Praise God. And that's what we're talking about today. Praise God. Any more testimony? Oh, I hear. Oh, God, I don't want Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, give God the praise in the house. Hallelujah. Yes. God bless, man. I want to give thanks for life. Just being yes, here in the house. Yes, sir. And, you know, watching things come to pass, as Apostle said, and this week, um, I had multiple breakthroughs, you know, <laughs> in my life. And, yeah, so the first one really was that, you know, this season was a bit dry for me because I run a studio and do sessions and um, mix and so forth. And, I haven't been getting any clients recently, so been gigging mostly. But since this week, since you prophesied that word, mm. I got calls from overseas for works that could cover <laughs> a good amount of things. And um, I was even looking for a place to live, and we couldn't find it, find a place for a while now. And this week again, found the place where the first person to move in, and the landlord has given us favor. To be the first person to, you know, <laughs> eating. So, just I give God thanks because, you know, I can see what He's doing and He's doing great things and providing for me. Let's give thanks every time. See that? Praise God. Come on, praise God. That's where they are praised because that's how it is. I mean, the, the whole thing about it, when people are going through dry spells and, and the, 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 their bills piling up because the bills will keep coming the same way. Even when no money is coming in, that's many people that run their own business know that um, oftentimes persons who are working just just for someone in employment would not experience that as much because whether the things are running or not, their, their pace will still come in. But when you're running your own business, it's not like that. If the, if the, if the, if the things aren't going well, then there's no pay, but the bills are still coming in. Praise God. So, you know, and that's the thing about it. And so God still provided for him that he could clear what the backlog of bills that was there and to still position himself for better things ahead. And that's the goodness of the Lord. They know somebody. And we acknowledge him by saying, Yes, Lord, you are the one that did that. And he appreciates that because we should acknowledge him in all our ways. And he said that he will what? He will direct our path. Amen. Praise you. Any more testimony? Yeah, no, no, you're a testimony on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they pray a long time and no man say you are church too somewhere. I hear what they go on in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I want to hear what they go on. Praise God. Sometimes I put them on spot in them. <laughs> morning, morning, morning. Yes, sir, morning. Yeah, we still have the gift thanks. We still have life. We yes, have sir. Men. Things aren't perfect. Things aren't going as you would expect it to be. Yeah. But you still have to give God thanks. You still have to hope for the best. Um, sometimes I have wrist pain. But I still play, but sometimes it hurts. But I still move on. I still don't. I try not to think about it too much. Mm -hmm. But I still pray and hope that God will sort it out in due time. And yes. So we still give thanks, you know, despite things not going well and yeah, we still have more opportunities coming up and we're still grateful. Just as the job I said a while ago, you know, we still have to give thanks. Yes, sir. That's it. Praise God. And the and this one, right, man. I'm not pray for it already. Ask them in the house. Anything we pray for it. It's our thought. Praise God. Hallelujah. So don't worry about that. And like you said, you just keep your mind on the Lord and watch as the Lord brings that healing it will get better and better and better you know what i mean persons have testified here that they when they pray they didn't feel anything move it the problem seemed like it was there still but they believed and they they, they same one came back and reported they don't they didn't even realize when it left it was one day they were they were sensing for it and said wait but what is long time i've not felt it and then they realized it was gone 
and it was no medical treatment and therapy just the word and faith mixed in the word can produce fruitful results to you amen and it's the word we are declaring over you that you enjoy the fullness of the life god has for you and believe me the devil has a plan for us as much as god has a plan for us the devil has a plan and that's why it's so important for us to commit always to the lord huh? commit always to him and he will of course direct our path he will show us what to do and he will make a way for us huh? praise god that will prove fruitful and beneficial to us and what to those who are following us or with us praise god he says when he lights a lamp it doesn't just give light to those who are in the house to, to the light to the lamp alone but he gives light to everyone in the house now it was those who light a lamp don't light a lamp just for the lamp to be lit it is to give light to everyone so it benefits more than just the lamp being lit the same way he says when you are truly radiating in the presence and the life of god it benefits more than just you you got it if it's just you are one benefiting somewhere hallelujah it's just, so the thing is that if it, if you are truly walking that life others will benefit from the life you are living huh and that's the light that god's want to shine the light of life in christ the light of what life in christ come on this time we're going to worship the lord a little bit here and then we're going to get into the word not going to delay much to get into the world we just want to get on with what we are here to do and believe that god's going to do something awesome in our midst you believe that hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah come on give those hands to jesus hallelujah you're here to bless and praise him hallelujah my god is awesome he can move mountain keep me in the valley hide me from the rain come on my god is awesome he's me when i'm broken strength when i've been weak forever he will reign come on say it again my god is awesome he can move mountain, keep me in the valley, hide me from the wind. Oh yeah, my God is awesome. Use me when I'm broken, strength when I'm in weakened. Wherever He will run. Come on, my God is awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome.
heart is lost Use me when I'm broke Strength when I'm been. Praise his holy Yeah, my God is lost His grace is why I'm near Come on, river here Come on, my God is He's awesome, he's awesome. Yes, he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, awesome. My God is awesome. He's awesome, he's awesome. You believe he is? Awesome. Come on, one more time. Awesome. Yeah, my God is awesome. He's awesome, he's awesome. Still making a way for you. Come on. He's awesome. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Come on. Come on. You love him. You're glad for what he's doing in your life. As someone said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank you for saving me. Anybody thankful that the Lord saved me? Could have been lying in your grave. I've been eating out a garbage pan. My God, in the matters. I thank God for His goodness in our lives. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, thank Him in the house. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, glory to you. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will say Of the goodness of God Come on, say it again I love you, Lord For your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hands <laughs> From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing Of the goodness of God Come on somebody help me All my life you have been faithful I love your voice You have led me through the fire 
in darkest night You are closer than no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I was living in the goodness of God
Come on, say it again. Thine is the kingdom. Yes, God. Thine is the power. Oh, yeah. Thine is the glory.
the true and living God. All eyes shall behold your God. In all your glory and in all your power. The heavens declare your glory. And the firmament shows your hand away. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that you are Lord. You are Lord. Death has no power over you. You got the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. He said, We shall be changed in one moment. In a twinkling of an eye. And all that here you shall arise and stand before you. You command men to rise up, even from the grave. For you are the one that took that body that we have from the dust. And you're also the one that can raise it up from the dust. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, worship. Say, standing off, God. Come on. Ebo Shalabasit. Ebo Shandalamas. Hallelujah. You're awesome, God. Ebo Shalabasit. Everything I need is yeah. Hallelujah. All that I desire. All I need is you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship Him. Hallelujah, raise up that worship to God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, God. Worthy God, hallelujah. Awesome is your name, holy is your name, faithful is your name, hallelujah, royal, hallelujah, excellent, <laughs> powerful, beyond description. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody worship him in the house. He's worthy. He's worthy. I worship you. Come on. Almighty God. There is none like you. Uh, I worship you, O oh, Prince of Peace. That is what I long to do. Yeah. 
there is none like you. Oh yeah, I worship you, oh Prince of Peace. <laughs> that is what I long to do. I give you substitute for God he is our creator he is our God he is the way the truth and the life embrace him in his fullness right now and 
you will see his power manifest in ways far beyond you can imagine come on somebody hallelujah you believe that come on worship him worship him somebody worship him somebody worship him somebody worship him somebody hallelujah my god my god if he never do another thing he's still worthy of the worship still worthy of the praise hello somebody Woo. hallelujah glory to god Thank you, Jesus. Ah, you may be seated. Thank you all for coming.